what's up you guys welcome to the channel today we're playing deliver us the moon in this game the moon has to supply the world with power but for some reason it just kind of stops one day and we have to go figure out why i hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get into it there was a time when resources seemed endless but in 2030 the great energy crisis began with hardly any resources left on our world Global Powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. The answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the Moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the Moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonists was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseen, but the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Several governments have pledged support for refugees despite reports of resource shortages. The dust storm is expected to hit residential zones between the northern 49th and 50th latitude lines by late afternoon and pass over the World Space Agency's former MPT ground station in the Adirao Desert. Authorities have imposed a mandatory evacuation of the impacted areas. For countries north of the equatorial desert, temperatures are expected to be a mild 46 degrees Celsius. Katrina, are you there? Alright, let's get into it, I guess. So, I guess the world is destroyed, uh, everything is a desert, and we're trying to get to the moon. So that's uh, pretty, pretty good. Um, let's get in here real quick. Our cool little space suit. Nice helmet. So one thing that I really like about this game, like I said, I've played it a little bit for about 10 minutes just to get everything, get ready. Um, one thing I do like is when you're, you, it's split between a third person and a first person view. So whenever you go into certain areas, it'll go into first person um, and then it'll go into third person when you're outdoors, which I kind of like. Uh, it's a new little mechanic. Um, but it, it helps looking around certain areas. I haven't found a way to switch between third and first person manually, um, which I would like to see, but uh, I still like the third person view. It gives you a good sense of uh, a sense of the world. As you can see, it's pretty uh, pretty destroyed here. And you can scan with the left, left mouse button uh, to look. It's a uh, network satellite, network dish. So let's see what we can find here. 
I think there's a storm coming, so we got to get to the spaceship pretty quick, but you can always look around. Um, always flush the toilet. Be courteous. Monument. It's pretty cool. It's covered up by sand, though. And it doesn't work. That's pretty good. That's probably why we're leaving Earth, because uh, I think everything's starting to not work anymore. Just gotta turn this. Hopefully get this elevator jump started. Yeah, at the bottom I think it was stuck midway. Even though this game's pretty new, it does feel pretty good. Um, it looks amazing and it runs really good even on my computer. So I kind of enjoy that. Kid, I see you're on your way up to the facility. The control center is located on the top floor. There you can prime the rocket for launch. Let's prime this rocket. Ooh. It's been five years since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. At first, no one believed it would be possible to transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will, when you get the MPT back online. Look at this, we got a little, got a little space dude. Pad. We gotta find the code. There it is. Is this 3548? Let's see. 3548. Oh, nope. 6548. There we go. If it wants to. I, there we go. Alright, good. We're in. We're halfway there, I think. Probably not. Ooh. That's a long way down. We did just take the elevator though, so it's to be expected. This building once functioned as part of the WSA, but it's been our home for many years now. I still can't Man, believe you'll be leaving here for good soon. Huh. The That's pretty cool. The location of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes through. Nice little barrier there. What's this? Hall. I'm not sure if this is where I'm supposed to go yet. Oh yeah, I think so. Just gonna move this out of the way. It feels more like a puzzle game than anything else. Even though there's a good storyline to it, it does feel more like a puzzle game. From what I've played so far. I haven't gotten off Earth, though. I got the spaceship ready, and then before I ruined anything else, I decided to go ahead and exit out and start recording from the beginning. We need three plausible causes for the MPT blackout. One, the transmitter at Pearson Space Station. Claire, there you are. Come on, we're celebrating in the other room. Everyone is looking for you. I need to go over this one last time, Maria. We've been over it before, multiple times. We're good. Come. It's time to join the party. It won't take long. I'll be right there. <laughs> A true Johansson. Once he set his mind to something, I could never convince him either. You are just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> Probably the only thing we have in common. I, I just don't understand why he didn't restore the MPT connection. He invented the damn thing. And now it's just us. No one else is even trying. If we fail... Remember what I told you. If it can be done, then we're going to do it. That's all we have to focus on. Go over your notes. Join us when you're ready. All right. Causes of the blackout. Right. Secondly, it could be one well, of So it looks like... I don't know where all the people went, but there used to be people here. Oh, look, it's a spaceship. It's a pretty cool spaceship. Let's run up here. See what we got. Good. You're in the control center. 
Get the rocket ready to launch as fast as possible. Reboot. Calculating new storm ETA. Claire, yeah, so there's a storm a coming in. The storm is approaching faster than expected. And Way it's faster. faster. Cool. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now. All right. So I believe, if I remember right, this is not going to work. I think I have to turn the valves that are over there. Yep. Just right. And in the objectives, you can see, yeah. Uh, initiate the reboot, find the control center to prime the rocket, but I think I have to go out there and turn those valves. Let's go do that. Alright. And first valve. Pretty easy. That one's done, don't need the ladder. And this one, if you climb, climb, yes, there you go. Oh, yep, okay. No ladder for us. I think I have to go down here. I don't like that you can't jump over that. Ladder here. And get back up. I'm hoping once we get to space there's gonna be a little bit more open open area to explore. Alright, let's back this up here. And we're good. Get this last valve and try to get on the spaceship. There we go. And we should be all ready to go. Let's go back up in here and see if we can turn that key. The hydrogen valves are closed. Head back inside the control center to prime the rocket for launch. There we go. Now it's working. Spaceship. As you can see the storm. The rocket is primed. You have to launch now before the dust storm destroys the rocket and everything we've worked for. Now I got this, don't you worry. Oh no. Just run faster, you got a space helmet on, it's fine. Doing circles, doing circles. Yeah. Yeah. End of the world, you just gotta dance it out. And this is pretty much where I left off. So everything from this point is brand new. Alright you guys, I'm going to leave it here. Next episode we'll finally be going to outer space to see what exactly happened to the moon. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great rest of your day.